Have you ever noticed that if you create a new timeline in DaVinci Resolve, there's a little tick box that says use Fairlight preset. And if you tick that, you get a bunch of presets. And if you select one and then click create, you get a timeline that has all of your tracks already done. And each one will have all of the mixing you've already done, as well as the EQ and any of the effects that you've added. Meaning you don't need to set it up every single time and you can have multiple presets for multiple different types of videos. No? Well, there's a good reason for that, and that's because it's not there by default. But it is, it's, it's super useful. So it should be there and it should be easy to find, but it's not. Fortunately, I'm here to show you how to set them up so that every single time you create a new timeline, you can pull in one of your audio presets so your audio is good to go. Yeah, smashed it. Intro, one take, boom, let's go. So here we are, edit page, DaVinci Resolve, and we're gonna create a new timeline. And we're gonna pretend that this doesn't exist because in your version of DaVinci Resolve, it won't exist. You won't even see the tick box. So we're just gonna hit create and we've got a plain, boring timeline. And all we need to do, we set up the timeline in exactly the same way that we want it to be set up every single time. Now, if you've already got a timeline set up exactly as you want it, maybe from a pre-done video, you can use that as the basis for this Fairlight template, which means you can skip all of this section and instead skip directly to three minutes and 50 seconds of this video. How did I know in advance it was going to be 3 minutes and 50 seconds? Magic. Hey. <laughs> anyway, back to the setup. I'm going to call this one Talking. And we're going to create a new track. Just do a mono one. And this can be Music. Now you can do this either from the edit page, which I tend to do because it's easier, or you can jump into Fairlight. Either will work. Now I'm going to go to the audio effects and I'm going to grab the dialogue processor. Quick tip for all of these audio effects. They're all available from the effects library under audio effects. If you grab one of these, you can drop it directly onto this track. So you don't need audio on the timeline. It's best to have some audio on the timeline so you can hear what's going on. But if we just drop that on there and then we can set up our dialogue processor or whatever effect we want to use to make sure our audio sounds good. And then we can just close that down. And if we click on that track, go to effects, that effect will be applied. Now we can also go to this audio tab and we can set the track volume, the isolation, the dialogue, leveler, all that sort of thing. And if we were to jump into Fairlight and then on this track or any of the other tracks, you can come in and you can set your EQ, you can set your dynamics, you can add multiple different effects. You can basically do all of the things that you need to do to your audio. But Alex, what do I need to do to my audio to make it sound good? I don't really know. I'm not very good at audio. Everything I know though, I've learned from Jason Yadlovsky. He has a YouTube channel. He talks about DaVinci Resolve, but he's primarily focused on Fairlight because he's a bit of an audio whiz. So check him out. I've linked him down below. You can go and watch all his videos, all his tutorials. Of course, they are free and available on YouTube right now. However, if you want to skip the queue, you want the fast pass to audio goodness, he's just released his Audio Essentials for Video Editors course. It's a full course which will teach you everything you need to know about audio and it's available for just 79 bucks. So I've got an affiliate link down below. Give it a click, go check it out and you can learn about dynamics, the compressor and all the other stuff you need to know to get awesome audio. Once that's all done, here's how you create that preset. All you need to do, Jump over to Fairlight from the menu at the very top. You want to go to the Fairlight one. And within there, there's something called the preset library. Now, this is quite useful anyway, because you can set sort of EQ presets and dynamic presets and all different sorts of things from within here. But if you go to the bottom one, it's called the Fairlight configuration presets. Fairlight configuration presets basically just take everything that's been set up in Fairlight and condenses it into one super duper handy little preset. So with everything already set up on your timeline, you simply click save new. Oh, I need to create a new one. I'll give this a name, demo, and then we'll click on OK. And there it is in my list. Now, if I wanted to apply this preset to a pre-existing timeline, so I've already got this one open, you can simply go to Fairlight, Fairlight at the top, presets library. I'll pick my Alex Studio one, which is the one I use for all of these videos, and we will click apply. Boom, get rid of this. It's got my voiceover track, it's got my music, it's got my sound effects, my voiceover has my dialogue leveler and my dialogue processor. 
So then I can just import my audio, put it on that track, and it's good to go. But for new timelines, now, whenever we go to timelines, create new timeline, or use the keyboard shortcut of Control and N, we have the tick box, and we give it a tick, and then we can choose from all of our different Fairlight presets. Let's go with the demo, the one we just set up. Then click Create. Boom, we have a new timeline with all of our audio configuration ready to go. Fairlight configuration presets in a jiffy. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, take it easy. Pa-pow. See you next time.